I'm on the gin and tonic diet. I've already lost two days. <laughs> Alcoholism. You're watching A Recipe for Nightmares, exploring the Vincent Price cookbook with your host, John McNee, or, as some fans have come to call it, A-R-F-N-E-T-V-P-C-W-Y-H-J-C, for short. Yes, this is the show where I, horror author John McNee, work my way through the recipes of horror icon and movie star Vincent Price from his cookbook, A Treasury of Great Recipes. It's a little bit like Julie and Julia, but somehow, against all the odds, more original and entertaining. <laughs> we have no idea how that happened. I've attempted several recipes so far with some degree of success, and if you haven't already, you should watch those episodes. But today's recipe is a doozy. Do you like pudding? Mm-hmm. Do you like fish? Mm-hmm. Well, how about a big helping of fish pudding? Ooh. That's right, today's recipe is fish pudding with mushroom cream sauce. I imagine some of you watching this may take issue with the idea that a dish incorporating fish can really be considered a pudding. I, I, there, and you may have a point. But this is a dish from Scandinavia and for them what constitutes pudding may be different from the rest of us. In any case, I'm very excited to see the results. We require halibut or trout, salt, white pepper, cream, eggs, fish stock, mushrooms, butter, flour, cardamom, and cayenne pepper. Step one, preheat the oven to 325 degrees Fahrenheit or roughly 180 degrees Celsius. Okay, that's done. This recipe is very easy so far. I'm feeling confident about this. Step two is to put two and a quarter pounds of halibut or trout through a meat grinder. Now, I don't have halibut or trout. What I have is about two and a quarter pounds of haddock. I know you're disappointed. I can sense your disappointment, but I tell you, no one's more annoyed with my fishmonger than I am. I also, and you'll be surprised to discover this, don't have a meat grinder. But what I do have is a food processor, so that's what I'm gonna use. I'm gonna experiment with one. Yeah. Okay, I think I'm done with it. Pretty well ground. Oops. So there we have about two and a quarter pounds of very minced, fluffy fish. To this, I'm going to add a cup and a half or about 375 milliliters of cream and beat that in. One and a half teaspoons of salt. Half a teaspoon of cardamom. Question, what is cardamom? Answer, no one cares. Nobody cares. And a dash of cayenne pepper. Easy joke, couldn't resist. So beat that all together. Separate three eggs. Reserve yolks and beat whites until they form stiff peaks. Music maestro, please. Look at that, can you see that? Stiff peaks. Stiff peaks right there. And now fold the egg whites into the fish mixture, which is not as easy as it sounds. But I think this is okay, it's pretty well mixed while still having a sort of fluffy texture. The recipe calls for an eight cup casserole dish or mold, which is, you know, this. It's close enough. So I'm buttering the inside. We're going to fill it with the fish pudding. Come on, in your pot. This looks so appetizing, actually, that it's easy to forget that it's Raw fish. Do not lick the spoon, I implore you. You you might be tempted, but 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 you've got to be strong. Here I've got a roasting pan. I'm gonna put the casserole dish in there and fill it with boiling water. 
Then cover the casserole dish and put it in the oven for one hour. Careful, 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 careful. Note to self, wear oven gloves. So that's all fine, I'm sure. So see you here in 30 minutes. Okay, well, the fish pudding still has 25 minutes left to cook. It's time to start on the sauce. In a saucepan, melt three tablespoons of butter. One, two, three. 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 When the butter is melted, add in a pound of chopped mushrooms and stew gently in a covered saucepan for 10 minutes. Right about now, you might be saying to yourself, why would I go to all that effort to make fish pudding from scratch when I can just go to my local grocery store and buy one there? And I'll tell you the reason why is because you can't. They've been stewing for 10 minutes. That's about the look you want. Now add a little at a time, three tablespoons of flour, mixing with a wire whisk. So as you can see, this has now become a big mix of sludge, as is fairly traditional on this show. To your mushroom sludge, add one and a half cups of fish stock, stirring well. Then add three quarters of a cup of cream. One teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of white pepper, and continue cooking for five minutes longer. Beat two egg yolks and add to them a little of the hot sauce. I'll say that again. Beat two egg yolks and add to them a little of the hot sauce. Beat, I don't want you to miss anything, you understand that? Add a little of the hot sauce, then add that into the saucepan and cook over a low heat until the sauce thickens. See that? I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that. A taste. Okay, it is time. Very carefully take the pudding from the oven. My instructions are on a hot platter, unmold fish pudding. That's all I've got to go on, I guess. Just, oh God. Uh, tip it round like that. And there's lots of liquid coming out of there. Oof, wow. Be advised, if for any reason you should want to try this yourself, to prepare for quite a lot of liquid that you might want to try to drain off somehow before you try and flip it over. In any case, it's flipped now and it's held its shape. So now carefully spoon over some of the sauce. And there we have it, a Scandinavian classic. Fish pudding with mushroom cream sauce. Doesn't that look absolutely beautiful? I'm proud of myself. This is definitely the least appetizing thing I've cooked on this show so far. Today's dish will be paired with a First Cape Sauvignon Blanc from 2017 and the Vincent Price film, The Comedy of Terrors. Why? Because much like fish pudding, it is a film with many fantastic elements that's not to everyone's taste. Good afternoon, Mr. Turnbull. Turnbull! Will you learn to pronounce my name correctly? I said Mr. Turnbull. What in the name of all that's holy is that thing? Don't forget, today's show is brought to you by DOA, Extreme Horror Anthology from Bloodbound Books. You have been warned, this collection of short stories is not for the squeamish or the faint of heart. Do like, comment, subscribe, share, any validation is appreciated and please join me next time for another recipe for nightmares.
Ha ha ha!